just sit and wonder why If you don't know by now It ain't no use to sit and wonder why It'll never do somehow When your rooster crows at the break of dawn Look out your window and I'll be gone You're the reason I'm traveling on Don't it's think twice, it's, it's all right in the side and, the door's still and it open. ain't no Window use still rolls up 1980 single cab long bed F250 <laughs> sheet metal cut out so the cage can lay nice and tied up against the outside skin or as close to it as it can get. So all of the roll cages that we do are fit super tight, as tight as you can possibly get, up against, into the body, almost up against the outer skin. And you can see the front tube there, how close that is. We've never done a cage where you could get your finger in between the tube and the body. And a lot of guys will like the look of that dimple plate and a lot of people ask me, hey, can I get that dimple plate in the window? I really like that. I said, well, yeah, but there's a reason for that is because typically a lot of cages, the tube will be out here and you'll need to connect the A-pillar to the cage to give it strength, especially in a rollover, keep that thing from smashing in. So what we do is we cut the inner sheet metal out like you saw so you can basically get as close to the outside skin as possible. But how do you get the tube, one piece, all the way up from the frame, up super tight, behind the dash, up the A-pillar, and then super tight, across the roof, and right out the exact hole, going out to the rear kickers. So the way we do it is a series of templates. And what we do is we start with, I like to start with this one. So we'll start with the A-pillar tube there. And you can see it's just a tube from here to here. And we'll get that bin. And we'll get it right where we want it. We'll fit it in there, make sure everything's perfect. And then we'll also have our start a bin mark there. So now we know where our bin is and where that tube fits best. So next is we'll tack a sleeve in so we can start adding pieces both directions. So whether you clamp this, tack it, have somebody hold it, you'll have this piece in place. Next one you'll do the same thing. You'll bend that until it fits right where you want it. You'll go down underneath, you'll figure out about where you want it to come out through the floor and you'll cut a bigger hole in the floor. For one, the patch is gonna get covered up typically by carpet or lizard skin or whatever, but you need that bigger hole to fit that through uh, in and out because there's a, a leg down there that goes to the frame. <coughs> so. so you'll get your second bin fit and then you'll slide it over the sleeve right where you want it. You can manip manipulate them until you get both right where you want it. Then you tack it in place and you have your bin mark. So now you know this bin mark and where this one is in relation to each other. And then you go down, another sleeve. I'm locked in. <coughs> After knowing where you want your tube to come out, you'll aim it and then you'll come down here and you'll bend another piece. And this piece, you'll slowly start to trim back and notch and get it up in place, in and out, in and out, until you get it right where you want it. Boom. 
Now you got it perfectly centered on your frame, up, up the A-pillar. Across the roof line. And out the back. So how do you get that hole exactly where you want it? <laughs> well, you have this one already in place you have your sleeve and what I do is I'll take a shorter piece and I'll slide it over that this sleeve will be long so you can slide that sleeve all the way up boom to the to this roof skin before there's a hole in it and I'll slash cut that so I get as much tube surface contact with this roof as possible then you'll just take a scribe and you'll scribe around and this rust makes it really nice because you can see your line a little better and there's your hole. You pull this off, you throw your crosshairs in, you do a pilot from the inside, right on center. You come in from the outside with the hole saw, and there you go. So no big holes. Everything looks like amazing because it's dead nuts. So now you have a whole piece pieced together that is your A-pillar template. So now how do you make it one piece? Okay, so go ahead and take it to 23 up to this side of it. That thing's real nice and pressure sensitive too. Dead on. So now, now we want to do this one this way, but this one's got a rotation. All right, so Tommy's holding the bin that we're making right over it to align the start of bin mark. And then we're just gonna sight from the side the two tubes. And you just want them parallel, pretty much from both angles. From that angle, from that angle. Sure, it's, we want to have it parallel from the top. And just work our way out from the start of bin. So you want yours parallel with the die. So bring your end up a little bit. But keep it, keep it flat on that. See, see what I mean? Yeah. Keep the tube flat on that. Okay. Now I'm gonna side it with the with the die down here. So. Yeah, our start of bend mark is off. Okay. Put it put it over the bend mark. Okay. Keep it sitting flat and level. And then now your right hand's gonna be critical now, so don't move it too much. Just just move it as I guide it. So go up a little bit. Actually, I'm sorry. I rotate it from over here. That's gonna. That's gonna do it. Okay. All right. So we have that parallel with the die. We got that parallel. And we got that parallel. Oh. <laughs> okay. That one's tilted a little bit, so that's why it looks off. But we got the two bins in it. They're looking pretty good. So now we need to measure from that bin mark, from that bin mark, to that bin mark. Measure from that one, mark that one. One more bin, and we'll have all our bins. All right. Everything lined up for the last bin. Looks good. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Just keep that thing steady. We're getting pushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Look here. We don't have to direct. All this right. Is the point. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got this tube bin up here now. Just need to trim it down. So what we'll do is take a little measurement from this bin mark here down to the slash cut. 
and you can even take a measurement from the top down and the bottom down and get a real close estimate where that slash is going to be so we'll copy that on this side cut that then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing over here we'll measure from this bin mark because we know this one is exactly the length we want it so we'll copy it and transfer that over here cut it in and then we'll shove it in the truck and see if it fits and that's it one beautiful consistent tube from frame all the way through the cab out the back you can see how nice it fits just like the template Got a little excess in the back so we can trim it down to what we want and right down to the frame. Nice job. Well, we have to cut off any of this. Yeah, we'll cut, we'll cut some of that off. Just left it long so we can put it where we want it. I don't even see a cage in there. So now we got it tacked in four spots just to hold it right now and we can stitch it in good later once everything's in. So now we gotta basically cut the template loose. We'll lay it in this side, reverse everything, tack it, and copy it onto this side. We have both A pillars in. Next will be the B pillar, so we're gonna start it there. Oh, no, that would be a struggle. Then it, then it takes away from what way. Why didn't I just use my hand? <laughs> so next we're gonna do the B pillar, which starts up top there and goes down. Behind the door, right about there, right about there, it's gonna kick over and angle down towards the frame. It'll pop through the floor, and then we're gonna go down to the frame right about there, that area, vicinity. B pillar, and B pillar. Now we have the A pillar, the B pillar, and the next one that is the next most difficult is the eyebrow bar. So eyebrow bar, we want to match the radius of the front windshield on the top of the eyebrow of the truck. So in order to do that, we need to put a nice roll in this tube, and we don't have a tubing roller, and long before tubing rollers were invented, we were doing this hundreds of years ago. So. We've marked this tube every two inches. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some pressure and move it down two inches at a time. Slowly build that bend into it until we match the same bend as the eyebrow of the truck. Quite a bit more, huh? Yeah. So Tommy's got this fitting right up against the eyebrow. The 
top of the windshield. And we've transferred the marks of where we want to bend it to kick it over into that A pillar. So, let me see that. Thing. So we just took a, a bend template here, basically laid it up underneath to see the kind of kick we want to land into that. Back where the tube goes straight, you miss that bend. Then we'll do a corner gusset right here. So holding this up, we transferred our mark to the roof, held this up, transferred it to the tube, and now we'll put the kicks in it. So we got the tube in where we want to put the kick. We got the tube sided with the die, keep it on the same plane. And then now we'll put this bend in it. So first kick in, went to 21, we got this one lined up. So we'll take this one to 21. tighter than that one yet wow because this one feels super tight actually this one could notch like up a little more okay yeah you definitely want to get those those Center. edges like these edges flat flush yeah this one can go up a hair okay but yeah man good job Tommy it's really good well the hardest part's done it's all downhill from here most, mostly straight bars and just a couple more bands. So we got the B pillars in, we got the rear bar in, and we put a slight peak in the rear bar. And what that does is, in the event it did land on its lid, it's gotta spread that, it's gotta spread that bar before it can cave it. So we put a slight peak in the, in the, in the middle. The roof bar is bent up to tuck it as high as possible for the, when you got your girl next to you, so get as much headroom as you can get there. Eyebrow looks good. Now I'm doing the floor bar. And we're gonna run this floor bar down along the floor and then right about in here, I'm gonna kick it up. And it's gonna double as a, a, a little bit of a door bar, floor bar, a little bit of a protection for that. So we got all the tubes in now. We got the eyebrow, the corner gussets, the roof bar, the B pillars, the back bar, the dash bar, and we just put these floor bars in. And it's the first time we did this where usually we run the floor bar from the A pillar along the floor and then kick it up to the B pillar down as low to the floor as possible. This time we kicked it up early and went to the middle of the B here to give it a little bit of door bar and it worked out good. So now we're gonna make caps for the floor, cap the floor back in around where everything goes through it, inside and out, and then weld it up. The seat fits good, super happy with it. Then later on we'll come out the back with the kickers and do the bed cage. It's all right. So long, honey, baby. Where I'm bound, I can't tell. Goodbye's too good a word, babe. So I'll just say, fare thee well. I ain't saying you treated me unkind. Could have done better, but I don't. Just kind of wasted 
it's alright.